What up, crew? In this episode, we're going to make an engraved picture of Stephen Hawking. Let's check it out. Joe P. Kirchman here, and happy Pi Day, and happy birthday to Albert Einstein. But I have to admit that I'm feeling a little bit blue today, because we've lost another great one to the other side. So let's make something smart and special to celebrate the works of the late Stephen William Hawking. We're going to be using an X-Carve with a DeWalt router. I brought in his picture to Microsoft Paint because who doesn't love paint, am I right? I'm coloring the background a single color to hide all the parts I don't want. It's kind of like a green screen. I then open up Photo V-Carve from a company called Vectric and load up the picture we just made. We want to make the yellow part transparent and so we just click on it. Next we're going to put in our material size. This board is 200 millimeters by 300 millimeters, so I want to make the carving area just smaller than that. Put in the thickness and hit apply. Next, we're going to move on to our cutting parameters. This is where we put in the type of drill bit we're going to carve with. I'm using a 90 degree bit, but there's many different options. I'm cutting down to one millimeter, but I'm pretty new at this, so feel free to experiment. I'm leaving everything else and then calculating the tool path. This will convert our image into 3D tool paths for our machine to follow. Now you can change the spacing of the lines to make them further apart and see what it looks like when you recalculate. I want them closer together, so this is what I'm sticking with. Looks interesting, but let's see how it carves. So now we'll save the tool path into a post processor that Easel can understand. Easel is a free program from Inventables where we are going to load our G-code. We simply click on the file to import and the software will bring in our toolpaths. It doesn't look like much from here, but there's actually a lot going on when it comes to the 3D image. We can even play the simulation to see exactly where the router is going to move. This looks pretty good, so now I'm going to go over to the machine and clamp down the MDF board. I then want to move the router to the corner where I specified the home position. I'm going to unlock without homing and then let the easel gods be satisfied that I'm a smart guy and understand I'm bringing in G-code. Confirming the material is secure, I then want to manually put the drill bit just above the wood. I will then raise up the bit, I'll plug in my DeWalt, turn it on, and then press carve. The machine will then follow the tool path that we made. It's hard to tell right now, but the drill bit is moving up and down very slightly while moving back and forth. This will hopefully create the dark areas in the picture to be carved deeper and the lighter parts to be shallow. On some earlier carves, I thought this was a total failure because it just looked like a bunch of dusty lines, but stick with it and you'll be surprised. The nice thing with having the DeWalt router separate from the machine is that you can control the speed while the carve is still happening. This is handy if you notice that the bit needs to be a different speed and you don't want to stop your carve. I try and make sure to turn off and unplug the router before I put my fingers anywhere near the bit because it's never safe to trust software. You can see that at different angles the picture is visible, but at others you can't really tell what the image is. I decided to sand off the top layer where the drill bit makes the wood a little messy. And this kinda helped, but still didn't pop. Steven would not be impressed. 
So I thought Mick Jagger's advice of painting it black could be interesting and it actually worked a lot better to see the details. I then went back into easel to put a little text on the piece. Overall, for just starting out, I like it. This will work. Except it's missing one little touch. A pale blue dot, as Mr. Carl Sagan would say. And I think that should go and represent our planet right here. Well, hold on. Looks like a happy accident. Beautiful. We're kind of moving through space. I like it. See you on the other side.